Hi guys, today I am doing my number seven update, seventh update for the Fifty Shades of Yellow slash Gold project pan. This was a year long project pan. It started April 15th of 2023 and it goes to April 15th, 2024. This project is a Pantastic Ladies collab and it was started by Jessica Lee, Amanda D, and Cece, who is the diva next door. I will have a link to all of their channels in the description box below, as well as the hashtag if you want to go follow the hashtag and see what other creators are doing. So if you want to see how I did this month, then stick around. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy. I'm really happy that you're here. We're more than halfway through, but I still have 18 products left, uh, which isn't bad. That's not bad. Unfortunately, the things that are left are the things that I was least excited about. And so it's it's been a little bit of a struggle. It's been a little bit of a struggle using everything. So before we start, I want to show you this here. This is the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. I opened this up to use it. And I think it's bad. It smells like rancid vegetable oil. So I won't be using that and I'm not going to replace it. I'm not, I'm not going to replace it, but, uh, it's never been used. I just broke the seal on it the other day to use it and it stinks. Oh, it stinks so bad. So that is going to be going away. So let's talk about the things I actually do have progress on. We have the Mark Anthony Strictly Curls Triple Blend Shampoo. Uh, this was up here when I started. It is now here. I guarantee that I'll be able to finish that by the end of the project. And this I will definitely have finished. This is the Mark Anthony Strictly Curls Triple Blend Conditioner. And as you can see, it was here when we started. It is now here. I use twice as much conditioner as I do shampoo because I only shampoo once a week. And I condition twice a week. I'll wet my hair down in the shower, put my conditioner in, scrub my scalp, all of that stuff. Yeah. A little refresh. A little refresh. So the next thing I have progress on is the Trifle uh, Summer Smoothie Liquid Highlighter. It is more of a liquid bronzer because it's very dark for my face. That is what it looks like, but it gives a really pretty glow. You guys have been using it on my body. I have, and I have 5, 10, 15, 16 uses on this. I had a usage goal of 20. This is where I am. Just use it like on my shoulders. Um, I had the soul body glow oil uh, in the project and I finished that. So I've just kind of been substituting this, uh, for that. And it gives a nice little bronzy glow, even though it's almost winter time. It's nice. It's nice. Another thing that I actually have progress on is the beauty crop cocoa glow glow drops. I have this in for a 20 usage goal. I've used it four times. It was completely, um, it was completely full when I started. This is where I am now. You can't see, you can't see through there, but that's where I am now. And that, what I say? Four. I used it four times. I used this on my chest as well, like chest area. Um, get a little, a little bit of a glow. Um, it's very oily, so I don't necessarily like it on my face, even though my face is dry. Uh, my Makeup doesn't play well with this. My foundation does not play well with this, but it's really pretty on the body. Really pretty on the body. What else do I have progress on? The Concha. Glam Light Concha Highlighter. I have a 20 use goal on this. I have used it five times, but it is my last highlighter in this project. You can't even tell I've used it, but it's so pretty. That is what it looks like. It's very pretty. I've done some purple looks lately. Used it. I just rub my finger around like this and then just kind of dot it on my face because it's very, well, it's very vibrant, but it's also kind of chalky. So yeah, I don't use a whole lot of it. The next thing I have progress, guys, I can't speak. The next thing I have progress on is the ABH lip gloss in the shade Luna. 
And this is where I was and this is where I am now. And I have used this 15 times. So I only have five more uses to go on that and that is rolling out. And then the So Susan Lumiere Rose Gold Highlighter. This is to finish. I don't think I'm going to be finishing it, although I didn't, I didn't mark it. Stand by. I'm here. So that's not terrible, but that's a lot. I only use just a little, a little baby dab, like that much on each cheek. And I use this to underpaint. It's just a, a rose gold, pretty little sheen that gives to your face. Oh, the next thing I have is the Araceli liner in rose gold. I have finished this. I have not finished it. I have completed my usage on this. I had this in for 20 times. Um, I used quite a bit of it and I noticed as I would, if I was using it as a, uh, on my waterline, uh, it doesn't really do much. That's what it looks like. It doesn't really do much, but I use it as a base. Like I put it on my inner corner and then put like a shimmer over top of it. And it just gives like a base. Let's it makes it stay a little bit longer. And, um, that works really well. Okay, the things I don't have any usage on that are still in the projects, if you care to see them, the ColourPop Super Shock in the shade In Harmony. This is what it looks like. It's getting a little crumbly. I haven't used it at all, at all, not one time. And then I have the Super Shock in the shade 6AM. This I refreshed a little bit. It's still very dry though. I refreshed this a little bit. Uh, I was watching Jessica Lee, one of the creators of this project, and she was talking about refreshing her super shocks and she just puts a couple drops of facial oil, face oil on top. And so I did that and it was, when I swatched it, it was good. I mean, it still swatches fine. It still swatches fine. I think I need to use a little more. I just was very, um, very light handed with it. Um, and then I didn't swatch the In Harmony for you. They're both very pretty. It, this one is still nice and creamy. It's just crumbly because it's old. It's not, it's not really that old, but yeah, it's dried out a little bit, but it still has plenty of pigment. Swatches fine. Oh, something else that I have usage on. Yes. Is the Soul Body Shimmering Body Powder in the shade Wild Flower honey. That's what the packaging looks like. This is what it looks like. I have used this. Where'd it go? I've used it four times. I've used it four times. Um, I have a 20 use goal on it, so I have quite a bit to go on that. Okay, let's go back to the things I don't have any usage on. The Rude Starlet Lipstick in the shade Queen Bee. There it is. It is broken. It is broken inside there. But I have only used that three times total, but I didn't use it at all uh, this month at all. So I have that in for a 20 use goal also. That may or may not be met. And then where's my other lipstick? There it is. It was hiding out in the back of my drawer. Uh, this is the ColourPop lipstick in Sex Appeal. I still only have one use on that. It's... I, I, 20 use goal. Mistakes were made. Okay. This was my first really big project and I was makeup minded and it was wrong of me to do that. And then this is the lip liner and it's the Moonlight Loon lip liner right there. Again, one use on that. So pretty, right? Beautiful. Would have been great for summer. I don't do a red lip very often. I don't do a red lip very often. And then the last two things that are in this project still um, is the lip liner in the melt lip liner in Familia. And this actually, I have three uses on. There's really no difference. And I haven't made any new progress uh, lines and or any pro progress lines to begin with. Um, and I haven't even sharpened it yet. So that is what it looks like. I used, I had a couple of dark lip looks in the month of October. So I did use that three times. Is that it? 
Oh, we have two palettes. We have two palettes. We have the Glam Light Street Taco Palette. This is No Pan Left Behind. You know, I thought that October would be a perfect time to use this palette. As you can see, it is untouched. I didn't use it at all in the month of October, so I still have to do No Pan Left Behind on that. Um, it, you guys, I don't know. It's Glam Light. It, I love Glam Light. I love Glam Light. I need to get cracking. I need to get crack a lacking on that. And then the final palette that I have in here, perfect for this time of year, is the Lena Beauty B palette. Beautiful. Beautiful. Again, no pan left behind. Have I used it? No, not, a, not at all. crack a -lackin. I need to get crack a -lackin. Okay, that is it. That is everything for my 50 Shades of Yellow project pan. Again, you can follow the hashtag in the description box below. It will take you to all of these amazing channels that are doing this project. They have already chosen, I'm not going to tell you what they are because I don't think I can. I don't think I'm allowed. But they've already chosen the shade for next year. I probably will not be doing this next year. This was a great learning experience. Great learning experience. But I have taken on a couple of other projects that are starting couple that started this year, end of the year, and I'm doing a couple next year, a couple others next year. And so I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing the 50 shades project, but it has definitely been a learning experience. I have loved that I've gotten use out of so many things and finished up some things. So yeah, it's great. Let me know in the comments if you are doing this project either at home or uh, if you have a channel and you're doing it, I'll come check you out. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate you. And until our next adventure, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.